Hi there. In this video, we are going to talk about how to build a YouTube ROM ROM PoE network for IP camera. As we know, the PoE is limited to about 328 feet. Beyond that, we can use the PoE standard to repeat the PoE network. One PoE standard can provide another 328 feet. So if you need like 1,000 feet, probably you can get two of these daisy chain together to come up with about 1,000 feet. But you can see this setup will create the possible failing point at the middle of the cable. And rather than that, we will face other challenge. Recently, we just received an inquiry from one of the customers. He had to set up two Uteron run link. Now let's move to the whiteboard and see what else challenge we are facing now. If you're getting difficult thing to set up PoE system, you can leave a message below. We might be able to help. This is the real case from the customer. There's about 1,400 feet between the NVR and the two remote locations. And he already some have some enclosure sitting between these two. So he hope he can place some PoE extension equipment in this box to repeat the PoE network. If there's some issue in future, he can reach the PoE extension equipment and diagnose the issue. But you can see there's about 440 feet from the NVR to first enclosure. And we know the PoE is only can reach about 328 feet. That means we cannot place the PoE standard in this enclosure. The PoE standard needs to be placed before this PoE standard, maybe somewhere here. And from the first PoE enclosure to the second one, there's about 480 feet even further. So we also cannot place the second PoE standard to the enclosure here. That means all the enclosure is useless for our setup. He need to bury the PoE extender under the ground, and in the future, if you want to diagnose the issue, it could be the problem. You need to dig up all the PoE extender. Actually, we have other solution. We don't need to have all this enclosure. We can just wire the continue run k 5 k 6 Ethernet cable from the NVR to this remote location directory. There's nothing we need to basically change between these two. Okay, now let's move to the demonstration board and see how we can get this job done. I've put the link of this equipment in the description below. You can click the link to find the detail. This is the 1,500 feet KFI Ethernet cable. Actually, I cannot find any KFI or K6 cable beyond 1,000 feet. So I have to use this copper. This is the RJ45 network copper. You can put two row cable together. This is the 500 feet KFI and this is 1,000 feet KFI total, you got 1,500 feet. And now one end of the cable is connecting to this long run PoE switch. It looks like the regular switch, only the first four ports support long run. The maximum distance between this switch to the edge device can reach up to 2,500 feet. And now I'm using the port number two and connecting to the cable. And the other end, you can see we, we do need one PoE standard sitting here. I will explain, explain why we need this PoE standard. And after PoE standard, we will use the short punch code to connect to the camera. So the power is sending from this long run PoE switch and eventually reach to now the camera's live. You see, we didn't connect any PoE standard at the middle of this cable. It's just pure continue run KFIE from the PoE switch to the camera. There's no need to bury the PoE extension equipment under the ground. We don't need to use the enclosure in the whiteboard we saw. But now let's just talk about this PoE standard. Why we still need one PoE standard next to the camera? You see, the long run PoE switch, it can supply long run data up to 2,500 feet. But for this one, it's just a regular camera. The data only can reach about 328 feet. This PoE standard will handle the data to return to the PoE switch. So it also can answer another question. Do we need any special requirement for the camera? No, negative because all the special equipment the long run we handle by this PoE extender and the long run PoE switch. From here, it's just the standard network for the camera. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please leave a comment section below. See you next time.